Hey guys, this is Cody from Westminster Effects, where we build guitar effects to the glory of God and the tone of his people. We're at the NAMM show, day four. So a quick run through if you're not familiar with my stuff. Uh, everything is church history themed. I'm a giant dork for all of that. And of course, Roman's gonna go straight for the Osteen distortion and my one shot at prosperity preachers. You see the uh, health, wealth, and listen friend knobs and the dollar signs for the S's lets you know exactly where we stand on that stuff. And uh, zooming out, you've got the cranked plexi style, Knox overdrive slash distortion, whatever you want to call it. You also see if you pan over here, our analog amp simulators, the Augsburg Deluxe amp sim, it's a Fender style, and the Geneva amp sim is a Vox AC30 style. And that artwork is legal, if you know, you know. And you can see both of these on the Schnobel Tone YouTube channel, for that matter. Uh, moving right along, we got the Physician Overdrive. It's big and beefy, and it gets nasty. It's really fun in front of a, a dirty amp. You got the Piper Drive here. It's a tweaked OCD style. That's a lot of fun. Moving right along, the 1689 takes something great and makes it better. It's a Tube Screamer style with clipping options and a clean blend. And... Edwards is a blues breaker-ish thing. Where are we going? I don't even know anymore. The Augustine Clean Boost is based on the TC Electronic integrated preamp. So that's what Mashuga used to push their amps while they were playing in drop E. Uh, it's a lot of fun, either as a solo boost, just regular old clean boost, or in front of a dirty amp. It'll really help you cut through the mix. This is my most underrated pedal. I need to send you one. Uh, it's the Zwingli SDD 3K. It's the preamp section of a Korg SDD 3000. And use it as an always on as a sweetener preamp. You can use it as a, uh, a boost or as a edge of breakup kind of overdrive. And moving along, we've got the Calvin compressor. It's a compressor and it's versatile and it sounds really good on bass, guitar, humbuckers or single coil. It's just a lot of fun. Let's go over here before we get to the king of the line. So we got the Spurgeon reverb here. It will get all kinds of ethereal. It's a lot of fun. So St Spurgeon smoking a cigar. It's the only thing that's appropriate for a reverb and a line like this. Coming up, we have, this is how we got to know each other a little bit, <laughs> the chick delay. And uh, this is the third version of the art. If you're not familiar with that, they keep giving me see the We'll say it this way. They keep giving me the nicest cease and desist letters ever. They gave me free food, so Chick-fil-A is really cool for that. Uh, we also have the Luther Tap Tremolo. It's a tap tremolo. It has normal and harmonic modes. It has square and sine waves. It takes a tap tempo in here. It's a lot of fun. We have the Chrysostom Chorus Vibrato. Pretty self-explanatory. And right here at the end, we have the 2716 Seth Morrison Signature Distortion. 2716 is obviously the signature distortion for Seth Morrison of Skillet. He's their lead guitarist. We also have here, let me zoom back in on that. We have Greek text from the fourth century provided by Dr. James White. If you're familiar with him at all, you can see that kind of ghosted in there. And it's a lot of fun. It chugs. It gets really disgustingly gainy and it's my go-to for high gain distortion and you need one yourself so yeah that's westminster effects here at the nam show in 2024 come check us out at westminstereffects.com